substantial evidence that Trump has obstructed justice and violated federal obstruction of justice laws. These obstruction of justice statutes bring with them 20 year criminal sentences. These are serious uh, criminal laws. For instance, he asked Comey to lay off on investigating Flynn. And it looks like the reason that he did that is that he was worried that investigating Flynn would lead to, first of all, bringing shame on his administration and possibly lead to himself. So he was uh, interfering with an investigation in order to protect himself and his administration. And that's a violation of obstruction of justice statutes. Donald Trump asked the White House lawyer to tell Jeff Sessions, don't recuse yourself from the Russia investigation. Stay on it. I want Sessions there, not somebody else. Now, Sessions had to recuse himself. The law is very, very clear on that. And Trump, again, is interfering with the Russia investigation by saying, don't do the lawful thing. Don't recuse yourself. White House lawyer, you go tell the Sessions not to do this. And there's substantial evidence that that happened. That um, looks like pretty clear obstruction of justice as well, because it's corruptly, to protect himself, interfering, um, impeding, obstructing an investigation. And then the third moment, which is really one of the most important moments in recent American history, was May 9, 2017, when Donald Trump fired James Comey. There's a lot of evidence that he corruptly fired James Comey to protect himself in order to interfere with the Russia investigation. We know, for instance, that there was an initial memo explaining why Trump was firing Comey, all about how Comey was investigating the Russia ties. And then immediately after, Trump, in the presence of reporters talking to Russian diplomats, is laughing about the fact that by firing Comey, he has eased the pressure. So it's not just that he fired Comey. It's that there's these other public statements showing that he fired Comey corruptly to impede the investigation. So altogether, we have, just in the public sphere, substantial evidence that he is violating the law and the really important laws for our country at large. Imagine if we allowed people to tear up evidence just because they knew the police were coming, to uh, try to stop investigations from happening. We have obstruction of justice statutes because we in this country believe in the importance of allowing independent investigations to run their course and protecting them from outside influence.